Welcome to the Cinemagic Preview Show. On this edition, we will be reviewing the historical drama, Ashes in the Snow. Papa! Art is all perception. In the end, we find it's not what you see, but how you see it. Conus Arts, then Octo. Malaika! Did you miss me? Lina, you need to pack. Warm clothes. Things you can carry. Just stay in your room and pack. sentence of labor. Andres. Where did you learn to do this? Jativa Viju. You draw me. What do our young Cinemagic reviewers think? Hello and welcome to the Cinemagic Preview Show. My name is Grace and for this episode we watched Ashes in the Snow, starring Belle Pauly. This story has been adapted from a novel called Between Shades of Grey and follows 16-year-old Lena as she and her family are exiled to a Soviet labour camp and her father is sent to a prison camp. Her father had always been supportive of her love for art and once she's captured, she vows to honour her family and other victims by documenting their experience through her art. This is an adaptation of a novel by Lithuanian-American author Ruth Zapetis and it follows a 16-year-old girl named Lena Vilkas who is about to have to art school in the summer of 1941 when herself, her brother, her mother and her closest friend are rounded up by members of the NKVD and sent to a gulag in Altyatsky in Siberia during the Second World War when the Soviet Union was beginning its operation of occupying the Baltic states. Inspired by the real events that took place during the Second World War, we really get to see the struggle explicitly. It's an incredibly graphic film with multiple potentially triggering scenes. Um, and we also get to see Lena struggle um, with finding her place in this new life that she and others just never expected in the first place. I think this was a really excellent film. Um, technically, uh, acting wise, it was just really superb, really engaging. Lena as a character is extremely determined and resilient and throughout the entire film we can see how she uses her own art as a form of catharsis and even her relationship with Andreas, um, who she eventually falls in love with, um, it's quite captivating. I personally thought Belle Pauly did an amazing job portraying this particular character. Um, she knows the right facial expressions to make, like her eyes especially are just incredibly striking. And I think it really, you feel the fire that burns within her to survive. The, um, the amazing ensemble, I thought uh, her mother was incredible, there was some really um, incredible strong female characters in this film. I. Uh, I saw and I really loved that. I thought um, Lena was a great uh, leading actress uh, or leading character and her mother was a fantastic strong character and that's great to see. Um, 
and some really interesting male characters too. They're very complex characters, very multifaceted. Um, that was something that was specifically uh, really something I connected with. I was really um, engrossed in the action that was happening and I was like shouting at my screen very at, at the injustice that they were experiencing and the, at the story and what was happening. One of the standout sequences in this film for me actually comes before the main characters have even arrived in the gulag. It takes place on a train that is transporting them there and director Mark Vicious does a great job of demonstrating the brutal conditions that these prisoners had to endure as well as eliciting a lot of tension in how certain people struggle to adapt and eventually survive to these conditions and some of the heartbreaking moments that occur on this journey. Something that I really enjoyed about this film was the clear loss of innocence as, as the story went on. Um, at first we can see Lena has these beautiful pigtails that come round uh, just down past her shoulders and those are such a little sign of girlhood, just having fun being a little girl and enjoying life. And by the end of the film, they are still in, but they're kind of tucked back and her hair's all a mess. And I just thought that was a really beautiful, subtle way of saying she's no longer a little girl. What she's been through has made her grow up very, very quickly. I also have to hand it out to the fantastic costume and makeup department. I think um, they did a really, really good job in this film. I was uh, completely like brought into the world uh, through these realistic depictions of visual effects makeup and um, makeup because they're brought into some quite gritty, dirty situations. Um, I thought that was really well done in this film. Something that stood out to me, it really um, enhanced the, the, the action and the drama of the film. This film is absolutely beautiful. The cinematography, I personally thought, was stunning. There's so many beautiful shots, and particularly the close-up shots, and um, especially the opening sequence at the beginning, I just really drew me into the film. I thought it was phenomenal. The film, I should also mention, is very beautifully shot. I love how some of the scenes were set up, like the blocking and the composition, I thought was, oh, in some of the scenes, it was just quite beautiful to look at. I think the cinematography in this film was excellent. Uh, a very dynamic use of light and shade, as you might see in the different layers and textures of a drawing like Lena might have drawn. Also shout out to the amazing artist who drew for Lena in this film and her artwork because that was a central part of the story. I thought that was uh, really wonderful to see. Um, but the cinematography, it was wonderful combined with the lighting and the shots. Um, very evocative shots, I think. Uh, it captured the action and the characters really well. Um, there was more intimate moments and uh, captures of the or capturing the stark landscapes they're in and the harsh harsh weather conditions that they experience in Siberia. One thing I know about the film is that it starts with vibrant lush colours and that kind of represents how happy their family life is but um, as the film goes on it, the colour fades and it almost concludes in black and white. It's only interrupted by vibrant dreams imagined by Lena. This fading to black and white shows their loss of hope and just how miserable their situation is. Something that struck me was definitely the use of flashbacks and the contrast that the flashbacks had compared to the current story that was being told. The colours within the flashbacks were absolutely beautiful, these really beautiful natural colours, the, color, the, the really rich light blue of the sea and the sky and the greens of the forest and the trails. I thought it was so beautifully done and it really emphasised the change that had happened to Lena, that she goes from this beautiful, natural, hope-filled world where everything is happy. She has her father, she has boys who have crushes on her and she's flirting with and it's all very fun and then it's so it's such a strong contrast to the position that she's now put in being forced to work in a labour camp I thought that was beautifully done. Although I would recommend this film to people who are interested in the second world war but um, would suggest that they be over the age of 15 as some scenes are incredibly harrowing and difficult to watch. Overall I thought this film was a rather engaging watch. Um, I would definitely say it is incredibly graphic and quite difficult to sit through. There are a lot of really tough scenes to watch and you could argue that it is, it's necessary to have those kinds of scenes because they mirror the reality that people went through because 
the, the, the events that took place in this movie, they all happened. Um, obviously, it is dramatized to a degree. Um, however, I do think like the brutality really makes you realize, wow, like how much suffering so many groups of people endure during this difficult time period. I think it's a tough film to watch understandably given the subject matter, but there's a lot of excellent qualities to it and I definitely think it's worth a watch. Although the cinematography is beautiful throughout the film, I find the accents unbelievable and was just generally underwhelmed by the whole piece. So all in all, I thought this film, story-wise, um, the technicalities of uh, the shoot and the, the camera cinematography uh, and the acting was superb, really fantastic to watch, uh, really gripping drama and um, really uh, connects you to the story. Um, I found there's a lot of films about World War II and, and the Allied troops in Nazi Germany, but uh, this was also going on at the same time too, Stalin's occupation, uh, the establishment of the Iron Curtain. Um, and while stories of World War II are really important to tell, I think it's important to tell this story too. So I would really recommend that you watch it. I would give it four out of five stars. Ashes in the Snow is probably one of my new favorite movies. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.